Okay, days the fourth. I'm gonna be cheating just a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm gonna post the one I did yesterday. Um, I may or may not post this one. Remember, point is to do a video a day. Uh, right now I'm setting up for my uh, weekly live stream. Uh, I say weekly, it's supposed to be weekly and um, I got down like every other week. Now I'm doing it. Uh, what am I doing it now? As, as much as I can. This summer I want to do it a, every week again. Uh, my biggest disappointment, I'll talk about it, you'll see it. I'm just going to start up and then maybe I'll just continue to go. Maybe I'll turn it off. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. So uh, let me get logged in here real quick. Get a few little login things done. And then I can start up my live stream. Mm. That's why it's in this angle. I need to be able to see all the cameras and everything. <sighs> I've been having a dickens of a time, a devil of a time, uh, just getting videos off of this dang iPhone. Uh, of course, somebody's gonna say, well, first of all, I'm having an issue uploading them to Vimeo. I have an issue uploading them to Dropbox because I ran out of my two terabytes. And, uh, And as far as like doing other stuff, it's like I tried to email one of them to myself, you know, yeah, several you know, gigabytes, but you know, you get the link and you can get it from iCloud, but it hasn't uploaded in days. Uh, it's just crazy stuff like that. And oh, it's time for me to start. Hold on, I wanna put up one more thing. I hate being late. Let's do a negative countdown. No, it just shows, it says it's showtime. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's go see it. Let's do it. Let's see if somebody's going to be on tonight. Start it up. It's running. I need to get a longer intro thing because it starts in five seconds. Well, greetings and salutations, all the ships at sea. I am back again and I know it's uh, I didn't do it last week but I got my live stream going today and we're going to figure out what is going on in the Las Vegas market uh, like the thing said it's like uh, my title today is oh, oh my goodness Hold on. Got it over here. truth about the Las Vegas real estate market we're doing a little live stream update here. So, uh, to be honest, I don't know what the truth is yet. Sunday night, relaxing. I'm going to go find out with us all, and uh, we'll see what's going on. Uh, before I get too deep into this, uh, I'm just going to say this one thing. It has to do with uh, my channel. Uh, Universal Music Group copyright struck two of my videos, and they were two high-performing videos that's what's really making me mad because just between those two videos was, you know, a few thousand views and they struck it because of my little intro um, thing because it had the song Heart on My Sleeve in it and they're fighting really hard on this thing. And what it is, Heart on My Sleeve is 100% AI generated content that someone created and the Supreme Court has ruled that you cannot... I mean, well, the Supreme Court has ruled that only a human can create something that is copyrightable. So laws haven't caught up with this yet. And the reason they're copyrighting is because the deep fake voice is that of Drake and The Weeknd. And that little stinger, there was only about six seconds and yet they copyright struck those two videos, which really makes me upset. Uh, because they do not own the copyrights. And this is clearly established law yet they're bullying people and my biggest fear is YouTube will bow down to them 
and just keep the copyright strike because of who they are. Because I even said, have them produce their copyright, which they can't because it's not copyrighted. It's uncopyrightable. As a matter of fact, the latest case law has to do with that monkey and I believe it was Indonesia or Malaysia uh, that took a picture of itself and then the uh, guy who owned the camera tried to copyright it and then M animal rights foundations tried to fight that and have uh, copyrighted themselves and uh, the end result was no, no one has the copyright because he did not take the picture. The monkey did, even though his argument was he set the camera up, whatever. Um, yeah, it's not copyrightable, but let's get on to it and let's start talking about what's going on in the market. So let me go ahead and share my screen and let's get to it. So let's see here. Gotta move something out of the way. Uh, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it a little bit more. Let's uh, scroll down. Let's see. So in the last seven days, oh, this is going to be interesting. We had 721 new listings. So uh, 201 came back on the market. We had price decreases of 416 homes. Uh, increases of 119 under contract and uh, 302 and 539 respectively, which is 841 if my math is correct. 715 actually sold during this week. 225 expired. Now, for those of you who haven't been watching these expireds, uh, for the entirety of our time that we went through the COVID housing boom, expireds were almost non-existent. Uh, they're back now. It's not as uh, bad as it was before because, I mean, 225 isn't too bad. It's just that uh, we used to have a lot more expireds. And in all honesty, the majority of these people, if I were to go look at them, look at this. They had already withdrawn from the market. And then this was their expiration date happened because it was the end of the month, beginning of the month which is when most agents set their stuff. As you can see, the majority of them, um, yeah, they just plain expired. Uh, we had some that were on the market for like as little as one day. That's interesting. So I guess someone took a one day listing. Um, hmm, I know that street. Uh, a four day listing, a five day listing. So, so very short time. Let's see, let's get back here. Uh, temporarily off market, uh, 31, we really don't care about those. Withdrawn, 103, withdrawn conditionally, 57. And we still have uh, 71 coming soon. Now market, uh, just from my observations, is uh, still strong and everything. The biggest thing that I'm seeing uh, so you look, you looked at all of those um, price decreases. We're still getting multiple offers right now. Here's the thing I've noticed. And this is what's going on. When you overpriced your house, I know, uh, I keep beating this dead horse. I'm kicking it. I'm shooting it. When you overprice a house, um, th th that house just ain't selling. Okay? So uh, I, I just don't understand why people continue to do the uh, this is what I want when it doesn't work and never has. And even now, with the housing market coming back, it's not working now. So let's get on back in here and let's see what the housing market's really doing. 